So we're going to continue determining a mean, except this is going to be a mean of group data. And group data is data that's broken up into classes. In this particular problem, it says referring to the margin of victory frequency distribution of the Super Bowl scores from example four of section 8.2. That was the previous section, if you remember. We, we went ahead and we made a frequency distribution of the margin of victory for all those Super Bowls. It says use the frequency distribution to determine the mean margin of victory. So now we want to find the average margin of victory. So we had these uh, five groups here, which we determined were classes. With this class, another class, boom, boom, boom. And that's our grouped data. We know from the margin of victory between one and nine points, there were 19 Super Bowls that had a margin of victory between one and nine points. There were 17 Super Bowls that had a margin of victory between 10 and 18 points, and of course, so on. We also did a corresponding histogram for this particular frequency distribution. But now we wanted to determine what is the average margin of victory, and we want to determine that average from our group data here, from our, from our individual classes here. So the way to do that is here we have a lower class limit, if you recall. This is our lower class limit. That's the smallest data value that's within the interval that defines our bar. And this is the upper class limit. That's the largest data value within the interval that, that determines our bar. So we go from 1 to 9, that was 19. So to be able to find what the average is here is we're just going to go ahead and find a midpoint for any particular class. And the way to determine the midpoint is we find the average between consecutive lower class limits. So I have a lower class limit of the first class of 1, and I have a lower class limit of the second class of 10. All I have to do is find the average between those two. So how do we find the average? Well, we add the two together and divide by 2. So 1 plus 10, that's 11. Divide that by 2, that's 5.5. So that is the midpoint for this particular class. And we do that for each one. The lower class limit of 10, a lower class limit of 19, 10 plus 19, divide that by two, that gives us a class midpoint of 14 and a half. We take the lower class limit of 19, add that to the lower class limit of 28, 19 plus 28, divided by two, that's 23 and a half. We have a lower class limit of 28 and a lower class limit of 37. Add those two together. Divide by 2. That's 32 and a half. And if we were to put in another class here, it would have a lower class limit of 46, right? So then I take this lower class limit of 37, add that to this lower class limit of 46, and divide by 2. That gives us 41 and a half. So now all I need to do is take the lower is take the midpoints of each class and then multiply that to our frequency like we did in the previous example. I have a class midpoint of five and a half. How many times did that come up? 19 times. I've got a, a class midpoint for the second class here of 14 and a half. How many times did that come up? 17 times. So we'll do that, similar to what we've done in the previous example. I've got 5.5 .5 times that to 19. Then I've got 14.5, and that came up 17 times. Add that to 23.5, and that came up 8 times. Add that to 32.5, that came up five times, and then we'll just add that to 41.5. All I have to do is hit enter, and that comes out to be 743. All I have to do is divide that by how many Super Bowls there were, or in other words, the frequency, and if you remember, there are 50 Super Bowls, so this is 50. So I'm just gonna divide that by 50. Over here, we'll divide by 50. And the average score, according to this group data, was a score of 14.86.
So the average was 14.86. You can make the argument that it's somewhere between 14 and 15 points. Now, coincidentally, if we were to go ahead and add up each individual margin of victory from that previous example, add all those up and divide by 50, that actually comes out to be 14.32 points. So it's pretty close to the 14.86 points that we did by using grouped data. And there we go.